The following Best of Central Florida program is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. Welcome to the best of Central Florida. Now, Michaela, you are my favorite woman, of course. You and my mother. No, I can't even go ahead. But we have some amazing yeah. women-owned businesses in Central. What do you mean too many? Just the right amount. Well, some amazing ones. Are you women ready? Women are awesome. Here's what we're going to do: a very quick break. When we return, the best women-owned businesses in all of Central Florida. And one of the most impressive women I know, and one of our favorites, of course, yes. Alicia Lopez, Ocala Realty World. You two are like boss babes together, it yeah. feels like, right? You do a lot of things together. She is a fellow boss babe. Awesome. Alicia Lopez <laughs> is here, the broker over at Ocala Realty World, easy for me to say. Uh, you are the leader of some fine agents up in Ocala. How important is that leadership role that you play at the, uh, at the brokerage? That's the most important, because how your agents are in the community and like how they treat everyone, it all rolls down from who's in leadership. So it's really important to me. So you're doing a great job is basically what we're hearing, because she is. Well, she Actually, is so, doing a great She's so inspired. no, seriously, she inspires, I mean, you inspire me like every time we've been to your office and <laughs> hung out and just the group around you, they really look up to you. So. Okay, thank you. But you're also doing a great job, obviously, <laughs> in the real estate world as well, in, in Ocala, really throughout Marion County, an area that I think people might sleep on who mm -hmm. live in Orlando, they don't realize that it's less expensive, but also a great place for investing as well. Why is investing in real estate so important in Ocala? It's 40% less yeah. than pretty much the entire state, really. So why not buy something that's almost half price, right? A lot right? of Airbnbs mm -hmm. popping mm -hmm. up as well for investors. Yes, because the World Equestrian Center has brought such a huge um, different demographic to our area, so okay. we need those. Keep up the wonderful work. Thank QR you. code mm -hmm. is on the screen right now for Ocala Realty World. Do not sleep on Ocala, <laughs> do not sleep on them. Alicia Lopez, one of our favorite women in all of Central Florida. <laughs> The best of Central Florida, Michaela's Choice, is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. We are talking about all things inspiration and all things women, so this episode means a lot to me, but and me. I, and, yeah, and to you, because you can really attest to being a woman. But the woman's I'm saying, not a woman, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying I, I have a lot of women that I adore and yes. they inspire me. Yes, well the lady including you. Thank especially you. when you cook I, the chicken all the way. I appreciate you it. Got it. <laughs> well well anyway, enough about us. The lady to my left, the woman to my left is absolutely inspirational. She cares so much about the nature of healing and helping others, so much so that there's a documentary called My Invisible Husband, Echoes of Healing, and she basically, it's, it's your life story. It's and she's everything. here, by the she's way. I'm so excited to have you here. Joining us. Especially after but actually getting to watch it last night. To have her here is pretty I feel amazing. Like we're sitting with the celebrity. I do too. Me too. Shelly, Shelly Lynch, thank, thank you. you for spending some time with us today. Thanks for having me. You know, one of the things that I love about what you've been doing is you took pain and you turned it into something to help others. Tell me a little bit about your, your why with the documentary. That's a really good question. Um, I guess because I've been through so much pain when my husband passed away that I, as a mental health counselor, see people in pain and I wanted to help them know that they don't have to be in it, that you can get out of it. Um, but I had a lot of help. Yes. So when my husband came to me in a dream and said, I want you to have a camera, I was like, this sounds crazy, <laughs> but it sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. And I waited two weeks and went out and bought it. And he knew that that would breathe life back into me. As soon as I started snapping pictures and, and a bird would like walk the beach with me, I was like, I feel so much better. Yeah. And then I wanted people to know they could feel better too. Let me ask this, and I've always been fascinated by this question. As a mental health counselor, you're constantly helping other mm -hmm. people. When you're the one that's going through that mental pain, it's almost like me being a lawyer and I help people getting sued all the time, but then when I get sued, it feels different. How do you balance those two things? It is different. It's a really good question too. You know, nature and being grounded and centered myself. Like if my gas tank is empty, I can't do my job. So mm -hmm. I just make sure that I'm always feeling good and centered and 
and taking care of myself. And I do that with nature and my camera. Absolutely. And I mean, just watching watching the documentary, first and foremost, you have to watch this film. Please because, do. It's amazing. And, and we know the guy that was the man behind the camera, too. Brent, he absolutely is amazing. And, you know, the two of you just put together this piece where it's like, I felt like I knew you before I met you today. I mean, I felt like I knew your Me too. Heart. I feel super comfortable just sitting here talking you know, to you and doing this interview. Absolutely. For some reason, I feel super relaxed. Yeah, and one of the things that I, I love, I mean, not only did you make this documentary, but you have a whole photography business, too, which is incredible. So tell us a little bit about that, because was camera, like, you know, working with a camera, that's just not learned. I mean, I'd love to think that it is, but it's it's a whole skill set. No, so I do want to just say Brent Knight was amazing. He was just magical in putting the documentary together. I was, couldn't have asked for anybody better. So with the photography... When I got the camera, I, I just started taking pictures and started with Sunrise. And I took, a, I think it was like 270,000 photos. Hmm. Whoa. Year and a half. <laughs> Whoa. So for me, when I was going through a lot of traumatic experiences in my life, I turned to writing. But you turned to photography. How has photography helped you in your healing journey? You know, there's something special about beauty for me. And just maybe being outside or feeling the ground and, and the breeze and, and the beauty but then having an animal um, come up to me and say hello, or a dolphin. So incredible. Mm -hmm. like, a wild animal. Yes, and now when I get in the water, the dolphins will just, <laughs> the ones that I know, they'll like come right over and be like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, it's so good to see you. Wow, what an incredible experience. It's mind blowing. Most days I'm like, I can't believe that. Did anybody see that? That's amazing. <laughs> so I, I love, truly loved watching your film last night. It was just so easy to watch and it went by so quickly. I was hoping that there was more time left. But she's the one that set it up for me. I, I wouldn't have known how to. I'm not great with technology. Yes. How can someone at home right now who wants to check out your film, how can they find it? Well, we can add the website to this. Okay. And they can click on that. And there's a place to purchase. Um, so that was a bit complicated, finding a platform right. where I could have people buy it and watch it. And the best way to do it is through my website because you can go back to that and watch it as many times as you want. That's incredible. Beautiful. Yeah, I definitely recommend that people watch this film. I mean, it gives you a sense of watching someone who's so strong and just watching what you've done through your pain and, uh, you know, God rest your husband. It's just, it's incredible to see how you have have carried on and have carried, you know, this beautiful message of, of helping others and really connecting with animals because we're not just alone here. I also, though, I, I think there are people are going to relate to it differently because I relate to it as in, we get in this grind where these little ants marching and it's like every day you're like, okay, wake up, do it again, do it again. And just absolute constant stress. And, and, and it sort of gives you a, an outlet to maybe, maybe not live that life anymore. Yeah. That's what I got from it. Yeah. I totally agree. Getting out of the, the daily grind, like you said, and finding different ways to, to connect or be present in the moment. There's so much beauty all around, and sometimes we get so focused on, you know, making the buck or getting to work that we miss out on just, like, driving here. The mm -hmm. trees here are gorgeous. I even mm. said on the way here, look at that purple tree. That's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's about the little Did you things. take a picture of it? I oh, okay, did. okay. Yeah, well, on the way back, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, Shelly, thank you so much for, for making yes. a difference, and thank you for, for being the strong, incredible woman Great that job. you are. Thank you, but before, yes. oh. yeah, Brent and I have a gift for you. What? Oh. A housewarming. This was not oh, necessary. Not necessary whatsoever. Oh, oh my <gasps> goodness, how beautiful oh, is that? Pelican blue angel. Oh, wow. my gosh. Sunrise. Oh, my goodness. That is. So thank you house. so much. Wow, right over that. the wave. Wow. wow. They look like they're holding hands. Wow. And hey, you know what? I forgot to ask you. Speaking of pelicans, that is a All great segue. You're not done yet. You have just come up with a children's book. Yes, it's right now being formatted and getting ready to be printed. Wow. It's a true story of a pelican who ate a filleted sheep's head. So sheep's head is a fish that's very bony. Yeah. And it got stuck in his gullet. And he sat on the beach for a few days before somebody said, hey, we need to help him. Wow. And I kind of know how to do that. So, it, But it took five of us to get wow. the sheep's head out. And then it took him a, a long time to get better. Mm -hmm. But the, the story is that he came every day and I fed him a little bit until he got strong enough. And then he got sick again. And so I took him to St. Augustine. And they took care of him, and when they let him go, he flew back home. <laughs> wow. Aww. You've got that effect on people, yeah. Shelley. Well, do yourself a favor. You're going to have to check out the Pelican book when it comes out. But in the meanwhile, please watch My Invisible Husband, Echoes of Healing, the director's cut. You won't regret it.
Welcome to our house. So literally, this is our home. We yes. love it. We just bought it recently, and you'll never guess what happened as soon as we bought it. The worst thing the possible. The worst thing ever. I'll show you. Dead. Absolutely dead as a doornail. No AC whatsoever. We live in Florida. This is a problem. It's a major problem. However, remember we had Old Ash on the show recently, Absolutely. and what did they tell us? That they could help. That they could help. And they said the only place to turn is Duquesne, and that's exactly what we've done. Thank goodness. Yeah. Old Dash told us Duquesne is the way to go Absolutely. when it comes to air conditioning systems now, and, and obviously it is. The price point, unbelievable. The 10-year warranty, unbelievable. And our electricity bill, it, yes. it's been driving me crazy lately, is going to go down substantially. I'm super excited about that. Can't and we get a tax credit as well for this year because we bought the unit this year. I love it. Got to go Duquesne. Absolutely. We're going to take you to the install now. So we are here outside getting our Duquesne Lynx heat pump system installed. I'm super excited. I mean, I think this is gonna be a game changer for us. It, uh, well, absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna save us money. There's a 10 year warranty on it. I mean, it's it's a no brainer. So we're good for 10 years, no matter what. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, parts, the whole, the whole shebang. I love it. So I can't wait. I mean, I know I've been missing the AC in the house. I know, humidity. I've heard a lot about that. Yeah, my hair has just been, so this. Your mood. Thank you, absolutely. Sorry, I'm just well, being well, it's honest. all gonna be fixed, nice. <laughs> okay. Thanks to our new system. The best of Central Florida, People's Choice, is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. You have spoken, the people have spoken, and People's Choice for Best Women-Owned Business is my friend right here, Vanessa Minter, owner of Mint on the Avenue, a Nevada salon. Vanessa, you really embody what it means to be a woman-owned business. Thanks for being on again. Oh, Malika, thank you. First of all, I'm very humbled that you, you know, gave us this award and gave me this award, and I'm very um, happy to be on the show with you again. You, every year, I know you're, you keep coming on because you really do make a difference in the community. You wear so many hats between being a mom, being a role <laughs> model, just being kind of like the hype woman for your team. How do you do it? Oh, thank you. Um, I guess it's just a passion for me. When I went into this as a kid, um, well, two things. I didn't think I'd be aging in front of a mirror <laughs> the rest of my life. <laughs> but, not but that's okay. It, it's okay. Like, I'm comfortable. It's, it's actually a privilege to yes. age. So um, I think that a long time ago it was instilled in me to give back. And one of my favorite quotes, which I've shared with you before, it's to find yourself um, lose yourself in service to others mm -hmm. and by Gandhi and that I live by that because sometimes you know when we give back and when we empower other women and I do have a daughter I have a beautiful mm -hmm. son as well but I have a beautiful daughter and she's in law school at UF I'm so proud of her but um, raising a fierce young lady it was important to me because I think like women like yourself you're an inspiration to me with all the things that you do yeah. so I really think that it's an easy job to get behind young women, the next generation, and try to mentor them and empower them that they can reach their goals, set their dreams, they can do it. They, you know, you can do it. Absolutely. And I just, I balance it with um, a lot of meditation, um, getting out in nature, <laughs> and a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. It doesn't just come to you, you have to want it, but you can do it. And how many years have you been at this location? Seven years in Seven May. Years. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Seven years, especially like during the times, the challenges that you faced between like COVID and you, you just kept going. And I think yes. that's so much to be said about, you know, being a woman, facing those adversities, and more mm -hmm. importantly, bringing your community up. Tell me a little bit about the community efforts you do to inspire other women. Um, well, I've done this work before I bought the salon. Um, I was volunteering at the hospital downtown, and um, I've even before in Australia, when I was living in Australia, I did mm -hmm. this work. People that are going through different um, challenges in their life, especially women that go through cancer, um, breast cancer, but any type of cancer where they have to go through treatment with chemo and they lose their hair, mm -hmm. they often think there's no reason to come to a salon because they don't know what to do. So we have ways that we can treat the scalp wow. and also to still make them feel 
like a woman, you know, we can do their makeup, show them how to wear makeup, um, style wigs for them. We can cut, and if it's human hair, we can color. We can make the wig more customized for them so that they feel more like themselves wow. while they're going through those challenges. And we also can also help them embrace their beauty. You know, bald is beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. I call that the warrior cut, because you have no choice when that happens. But um, that's very important to me to help people feel beautiful from the inside out. Wow. Well, you certainly do that. And you have so many different products here. I mean, people can come, you can get your hair color, you can get a cut, you can yeah. buy Aveda products. And really, I mean, you have the essence of the Aveda lifestyle, just teaching, you know, practicing healthiness and meditation and all that stuff while also encouraging people to, to do that. Yeah. So people can book, they can call online. How does it work? Yes. So um, <laughs> that's always a work in progress, yeah. small business. So <laughs> yes, but yes, they can definitely call the salon. They can request online for an awesome. appointment and we reach back out to them. I have a wonderful team. And then we normally go through um, questions where we want to find out what their needs are. Absolutely. So we try very hard to make them happy, but they, yes, they can. And we actually have some great deals um, for inside referrals once you're an established client. And we also on our website for our new guests, we have a $20 off, you know, awesome. for like, so we, we offer like some initiatives to get people through the door and we have different pricing levels, even though we are in Winter Park and we are Aveda is a luxury brand, but we try to work within people's budgets and help everybody be able to be a part of our Mint family. Absolutely. Well, I love the Mint family. I love you, Vanessa. You do absolutely amazing things for the community. Thank you for being on. It's important to trust your hairdresser and certainly the people of Central Florida trust Mint on the Avenue. We'll be right back with Justin's Choice after the short break. The best of Central Florida, Justin's Choice, is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. When I think of Boston ladies, I think of my mother raising all three of us kids by herself, essentially, but she didn't own a business. She was a registered nurse, a very obviously a great profession too. But I have so much appreciation and respect for the, the women out there, hardworking and especially raising a family. But when it comes to women-owned businesses, and I know a little bit about the real estate world as well, yeah. I, I look at these amazing real estate brokers and agents out there. Happy to be joined by Fernanda Negromonte, Nova Real Estate. You are truly a, a boss lady, but also a mom. How do, how do those two worlds merge together? How do you make it all work? It's definitely hard, but you know, like at the end of the day, I feel like we have to do what makes us happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love my kids and I feel like I do that for them, you know? Uh, so every day, you know, we're trying to see kind of like, okay, what ball am I gonna drop today, you know? Mm -hmm. But we make it, we just, I don't know, we just, when we have babies, we're so strong and we, we just make it happen somehow. And there are days I'm like, I have no idea how I got all this done, you know? When, Today. It, when it comes to Dr. Phillips Winter Garden, really that whole Southwest Orange mm -hmm. County area, Windermere, you've really made quite a name for yourself. How is that? How have you done it? Yeah, a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. Like I, there are weeks that I put in like seven days a yeah. week, you like know. What's sleep, you know, you don't Yeah, that. especially, you know, when you have kids, then, you know, you don't sleep, you don't, you survive by caffeine, you know, pretty much. Uh, but I don't know, we try to find a balance and look, really look to see, um, again, what works for you. And I have so much passion that, again, I feel like I do it for them. And I came here from a different country, you know, so in my head, it's like, I have to make this, you know? And I just continue going mm -hmm. every day. It's just, every day I wake up, I'm like, okay, it's another day, let's go. Yeah. Speaking of something new, I'm so excited. You're talking, so I love, you know, Winter Garden. I grew up in that area. Mm -hmm. Crooked Can, I hang out there a lot. You have some exciting news to share about a little project you're working on. Yes, okay. we have a brand new community. Uh, they're in the process of clearing up the land right now. It's gonna be uh, 46 homes that 30 homes and 16 town homes and it's a walking distance to crooked can that's perfect it's yeah perfect for families oh yes too. absolutely i love bring my daughters there they always play on the water pad yeah. you know and there's so many 
cool places to eat and the, the, the market, you know, oh, the it's just amazing. Great, especially with your family on like the weekend, amazing, 10 yeah. out of 10. So, I'm excited about that. I, I might have to look at an investment property for that for sure. Well, Winter Garden <laughs> is a place that if you haven't been in a while has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. When I first moved to Central Florida, maybe 15 years ago now, it was not, there wasn't a lot going on. Winter mm -hmm. Garden is like a cool place to oh, visit yeah. now. How did they grown it so much? That's so crazy because now I have been here for like 20 years yeah. and when I first start going to that area because I saw like I saw a lot of homes you know I, I sometimes I would bring clients there and they're like oh you know not sure about it and mm -hmm. then now they're like Fernanda you know I should have bought like you know when you first brought me here because they're paying a lot more money now um, and I think just like all the new communities and the new restaurants you know they tried really to the crooked can definitely was yes. like I think it was a, a day and night difference yeah, the for them market, yeah after so they smart. opened the crooked can it, it literally changed the whole like you know, geographical winter garden. Uh -huh. Absolutely. How do you see real estate the rest of this year? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I think that's a tough question. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel that right now everybody's like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. But I think that things are still moving like I was, uh, you know, mm. earlier. They're like, are you busy? I feel like I'm always busy, you know. So <laughs> it's hard for me to say it's going to slow down or it's going to, if, I feel that if the interest rate, goes down mm -hmm. we're definitely going to see an increase in business uh, but right now for me business is going like really strong and I can't complain um, so yeah as a leader of other women how important is is your leadership role in your day-to-day -day life very important yeah. yes uh -huh. I feel like a lot of people you know like my team I feel like I have to set the bar for them so I'm always putting a lot of pressure on myself because I feel like there's so many eyes mm -hmm. on me all the time and uh, I really want to be an example, you know, where they can relate to as a mom, as a business leader, as a wife, you know, and, and as a human being, right? It's always start when you're a good person, you know? Absolutely. No, you're so inspiring. And I think you're, you're always doing something, whether it be, you know, Dr. Phillips, Bella Kalina, your family. I mean, you're talking earlier, you just, you light up and it's, you can be a career woman and be a mom. A hundred percent, yes. We can't judge people, you know, if you choose to be a stay-at-home mom, it, I, I, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's to you like your own career. And if you want to go out and get into your business, you know, uh, it's not whatever you want. Like, I feel like if I'm able to do it, like anybody can do it, you know. Absolutely. You're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Always good to see you. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Keep up the mm -hmm. good work down there. Excellent job to you today as well as always. I mean, you're a women own business yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. You're, what? What do you mean, yeah? Well, That's I mean, where you say something. No, I mean, no, I'm yes. teeing it up. Well, no, I do more like non profit stuff, so I don't know if it really counts. But, but yeah, it does yeah. count. Yeah. You do so many yeah, things. I Excellent. Do. Excellent work. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Thank you to our amazing guest and, and especially our crew here. It always does a wonderful <laughs> job for us. Most importantly, thank you. See you again next week for more Best of Central Florida. The preceding Best of Central Florida program was sponsored in part by these fine sponsors.